Welcome back Commander. In this video, I have 5 top secrets and easter eggs from the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. If this is your first time here, I have a load of Mass Effect videos on my channel already, so make sure you check them out after you watch this one. So Mass Effect Legendary Edition has recently been released and there are 5 top secrets and easter eggs for you. I've only just stumbled on this one myself and I've been playing the game for many many years. On Eden Prime, you're tasked with recovering a Protheum Beacon. The mission turns sour before you even touch down when Seren and the Geth attack the research base. Once you've cleared out the area of the Geth, you can approach the beacon and set in motion the events that will lead to Shepard's ultimate destiny. However, if you run up to the railing before you get to the beacon, you get this cutscene. My god. It's like someone dropped a bomb. That must be where the Geth ship landed. I can't believe that I had this game since the original launched in 2007 and I've only just seen this myself. With the location of the beacon it's very hard to miss as you'd have no reason to run up to the railing in the first place. When travelling around the galaxy you'll come across resources that can be found on planets. When you first land on a planet these are clearly marked on your map. However each map has a big wide open space with nothing located in it. Drop a marker and head towards it. You'll soon find a hidden resources that are not marked. Once you get a feel for the maps, you can generally guess on each planet where it might be. But that's not all. When you head to a system, make sure you move around any asteroid belts. Although not in every asteroid belt, sometimes you can find hidden asteroids that have minerals for you to extract. For this one, you need to go to Pre-Stop in the Hawking Eater system, and you'll see a planet called Kalengdon. Do apologise if I get any of these planet names wrong. At the base of this planet, you can see there's a massive wound cut into the side of the planet's surface. Looking at the description of Kalengdon, it says... Kalingdon's most striking feature is, of course, the Great Rift Valley that stretches across the Southern Hemisphere. What is most fascinating about the rift is that it does not appear to be natural. The geological record suggests it was a result of a glancing blow by a mass accelerator round of unimaginable destructive power. This occurred some 37 million years ago. In Mass Effect 2, you need to board a dead Reaper to acquire its IFF to be able to travel through the Omega-4 relay. What's interesting is this dead Reaper is orbiting the planet Menemusamine, which is also located in the Hawking Eater system. Completely, completely decimated these names. What remains is the Reaper is described as having massive holes and blasted into melted parts of the hull and remain unrepaired. So it's logical to suggest that the massive wound in the side of the planet is the very remains of the mass accelerator round that destroyed the Reaper from Mass Effect 2. But wait, there's more. In Dragon Age Inquisition, Bioware's other mainline franchise, the moon you can see in that game is the same planet. As you can see, the Mass Accelerator round is still showing in this image. Does that mean that Dragon Age and Mass Effect share the same universe? Or is it just an easter egg? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. This one is a little bit of an odd one. Head to the planet Ontrom in the Newton system and you'll come across the strange looking creatures. Looking a little like a cross between a horse and a cow with arms, they don't do anything other than wander across the planet. That is, except for one. Known as the Shifty Cow, guess we're going to call it a cow, which will stand perfectly still when looking at it. Move the camera around and you can play a very one-sided game of what's the time Mr. Wolf. And by that, what I mean is when you're not looking at it, it will sneak up on you. Look at it again and it will stand perfectly still. Once it reaches you, it will then start stealing your money. I don't quite know what the cow needs with your hard-earned credits, but be careful, there is no way of getting them back even if you shoot it. Lead technical designer Dusty Everman had this to say about the shifty looking cow. I love the history of the shifty cow easter egg. When the character artist designed a space cow with two extra arms, Preston, our lead designer, was a little creeped out. His comment was, you can't trust an animal that can milk itself. Those little extra hands look so grabby. So Preston came up with the idea of the shifty cow. Turn your back on him and those creepy little hands are going to go to work. And kiss those credits goodbye. Dr. Liara Tassoni is one of the main characters of the series, and it's in Mass Effect 1 that you recruit her into your crew. From the moment you take command of the Normandy, you're given a lead on her location. Normally you'd want to pick her up as soon as possible, as you get to spend some time with her, use her in missions, and even has a connection to one of the main antagonists. Getting her early also gives you time to maybe form a romantic relationship with her. But what happens if you're not actually interested in doing any of that? Well, leave her to the very end and something happens to her. In order to recruit Liara, you need to free her from some sort of energy field she's accidentally suspended herself in. 
She's unable to move and completely stuck unless someone comes to free her. Having played a good few hours by this point, it's unsure how long exactly in the game she's been trapped for, but we can assume it's been a while. You see, Liara started to go a little bit crazy. She will assume that you are just a hallucination, and you'll get some funny dialogue. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped, I need help! Are you... are you real? Oh no, don't be stupid, Liara. Humans do not come here, you're hallucinating. And talking to yourself. <laughs> oh, goddess, I am going to die here. We're here to save your sorry ass, so snap out of it. You're rude for a hallucination. My subconscious must want to punish me for being this stupid. Once back on the ship, she'll get really annoyed that she's missed all the excited adventures that you've been on, and you'll get this little gem of dialogue. Sovereign, the cipher, a Prothean beacon. I I'm sorry, this is all a bit overwhelming. I just... I need a moment to collect myself. I have spent most of my adult life investigating the Prothean extinction. Decades of intense academic study and field research. And for what? I never thought it would end like this. You show up and tell me all the answers just fell into your lap. It isn't fair. All those years wasted. To see my first impressions of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, click the links on screen now. Thank you to all my supporters, including Nerdy Dude and Beverly. And I'll see you next time. Commander. <laughs>